Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time online clothing reseller on platforms like eBay and Poshmark. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as Elducho Thrift, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. And of course, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video today. Okay, so I'm back today with another Goodwill outlet haul. Uh, once again, this is an end of day haul. If you've been watching my previous hauls from the past few weeks, I only have about one hour at the end of my day to go shopping. It just kind of works out like that, but it's perfect because I don't stay there too long. And it's kind of interesting to see what's there for the last hour of the day with no fresh rotations. So if you've never been to the Goodwill outlet or you don't know what it is, it is a pay by the pound Goodwill location. Oftentimes it's the last stop for a lot of textiles and hard goods. I pay $1.79 plus tax at my location for clothing items. Not sure how many pounds this was. I say that every time. I want to say it was like 30 or 40. I always put it in the title and description usually. And yeah, I want to show you guys everything that I got. So here's one of the bags. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> uh, I have one more full bag as well. I am in the warehouse, my warehouse, where I store all my things and we do all of our work out of here. Um, so I'm in the warehouse right now filming this haul. I'm going to tell you where and what we're going to do with everything. Sometimes we list it ourselves. Sometimes we send it out for consignment. I will let you know what we are going to do with all of the things. So let's get started. I don't know which bag I should start with. I'm like, this one's zipped up, but the other one isn't. So... Maybe I'll start. I want to start with the unzipped one. Okay. First item. I'm, I'm reliving this haul with you guys because I'm like, what did I get? Okay. The first item is a pair of jogger pants. Here they are. They are a women's lucky brand size medium. I'm going to sell these here at, in our stores, like on eBay, Poshmark, Tradesy, Mercari. Where else? What am I forgetting to name here? All the platforms. I'm gonna sell those just because it's athleisure. Athleisure is still pretty popular. It's also the beginning of the year, so people are searching for active wear pieces. I'm not sure that anybody's working out in sweatpants. I wouldn't, but maybe somebody is. I'm not gonna put judgment on them there. All right, speaking of like an active wear piece, I don't know. I just thought this was funny and cheeky, so I grabbed it. I don't necessarily think that this brand is anything to write home about but it's like, almost look like a muscle tee, but it's a halter tank. It says liker's gonna like, which I thought was funny. The brand is Recycled Karma. Where do they sell this? And this is a burnout tee. So if you're looking for keywords for this type of material, that's what it's called is burnout. I don't even know the size on this. If I had to guess, it's a small or a medium. We'll sell that here, yeah. Though I could take it to Play-Doh's. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna put that in my Play-Doh's pile. <laughs> so sometimes I'll take items from the outlet to Play-Doh's Closet, which is just a buy-sell trade store, similar to uh, Clothes Mentor, Buffalo Exchange, all those different sort of places, uh, because they just pay you cash on the spot for items. And sometimes items might just do better there based on the demographic. Of shoppers in that area all right next is a sweater with a turtleneck i don't even know what this is <laughs> okay this is the brand orvis i don't always pick up orvis but i thought this was a nice piece this is a size extra large and i grabbed it because it is 10 percent cashmere so in the title i will get to put cashmere blend um but yeah it's just an ivory turtleneck sweater we will sell this here so i'll keep that in my hair pile which is quickly going to become very full all right, another active wear piece that I have is this Nike running tank. It's the Nike Dry Fit line. It's a size small. Yeah, I probably could take this to Play-Doh's. But again, the time of the year right now just feels like it might kind of sell quickly in our store. I don't know. I feel like it could go either way and I might make the same amount of money to be honest. So yeah. <laughs> All right. In a recent haul, I think my last one, I showed you a pair of, I think it was LuLaRoe Disney leggings. They were nightmare before Christmas. Anyways, I found another pair of Disney 
LuLaRoe leggings and these have Daisy Duck on them. I thought they were really cute. These ones are also, these are also one size. I am open to, or I am <laughs> considering, I'm open to the idea of lotting them up as like, you know, like a Disney lot. Cause maybe somebody would want a Disney lot of LuLaRoe leggings. They're really cute. So it's just my two cents. All right, next is the brand Postmark. This is an anthropology brand. That's what it looks like in case you've ever seen this tag. This is a size small and yeah, I don't know. It's just a cute dress kind of, um, what is this? Ruched right here. Is that the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah. Anyways, you know, I, I started reselling full time in 2017 back then. I maybe would have been a little bit more excited about this piece than I am now. Do you find the anthro is still selling as well for you as it did maybe a few years ago if you've been doing this for a while? Would you get excited over the brand Postmark? Let me know, please. I wasn't not going to grab it, so let's just say that. It's at the outlet. It, you know, I don't pay a lot for items. Okay, next is, this is just another LuLaRoe piece. I don't pick up all LuLaRoe, but I pick up cute ones. This one was a size medium. It's one of their longer dusters, open front. It's in nice condition. I thought it was pretty and kind of neutral looking. So that's why I grabbed it. It's a size medium. I think I'll keep it and sell it. I was gonna say maybe send it to thread up, but I don't have a ton of thread up labels. So I'm kind of, I don't wanna say being pickier about what is in there, but, cause I have sent LuLaRoe there, but I feel like I could sell this myself. So we will proceed in that direction. Okay, next item, I was gonna show you this, but I'll show it to you in a second. <laughs> okay, next item is Chico's. So if you've been watching my last few hauls, I've been picking up Chico's and I'm creating like a big lot of it. And then I was gonna sell it off as a bigger lot, which I have done in the past. I'm now gonna make an even bigger lot. Uh, so this is going into my Chico's pile. So this one's a size two. Chico's has vanity sizing. So that's probably the equivalent of like a medium or something to that effect. Next item is a, all right, an activewear piece. This is a Fila, say Fila Sport? Yes, a Fila Sport running jacket. It's a size women's medium. It's just a lightweight windbreaker, but it's in really nice condition. It's got this really pretty sparkly metallic stripe that goes all the way down uh, to the wrist. Yeah, zipper works, everything's good. Again, I might be able to take that to Play-Doh's, but I kinda wanna sell it myself. So we're gonna go in that direction. Okay, another active wear piece, what are you? Maybe this was something I was thinking of keeping for myself. I feel like it is, <laughs> I think it is. I just threw it in there to show you guys what I got. I don't even know where this brand is sold. Exertion? Is this like Target? Holes somewhere along there. Anyways, I'm gonna keep that for me. So that's my me pile. Okay, these I feel like have gone in and out of style over the past. Mm, hold on, let me think about that. Ooh, uh, a lot of years. I was gonna say almost 30, but we're not quite at 30. 25 years that I've known about, probably even longer. I think it probably even dates back to the 80s. So let me just preface there. But they're Adidas track pants. I feel like these had a moment a number of years ago when I started reselling full time. These are the tearaway style. I had to grab these because I just have a memory with them. I saved up my money when I was in like seventh or eighth grade to buy a pair of these. They were really expensive for me at that time in middle school, it was like $60. And everyone at school loved them. And a girl asked to borrow them who, it was the person I shared my locker with. We shared lockers. And well, you know what happened. I never saw them again. So anyways, now I think I'm just scarred. And so every time I see them, I have to pick them up because it's like they're mine. I'm gonna sell those. Not sure if they still sell for a ton of money. I think it also depends condition and how vintage they are. So I'll look at the tags and all that, so. Okay, next item. I think this is Hannah Anderson. Yes, it is. It's a Hannah Anderson jacket. 
It's a size eight. It's kind of hard to read there. The outside condition of the jacket is really nice, um, but the inside, the fleece is a little funky. I'm gonna use this little blue fuzzy tool that I have on it. This is pretty extreme and I did wash this. So I don't know what's gonna help it. I still wanted to save it from the bins because somebody, you know what, somebody still might want it. Hannah Anderson is a nice brand. If that were in better condition, I would consider sending it off to the Real Real. They do accept nicer high-end kids brands. <clears throat> Hannah Anderson is one of the brands they have taken in the past from me. So there's that. Oh, I do have it. I was worried I didn't have the belt for this. This is the brand Cashware with a K. There it is, Cashware. This is a robe. I'm guessing they make intimates and sleepwear. I'm not sure what size. It is, it doesn't really say. I probably should just try it on because <laughs> then I would know what size. And I totally need a robe. Anyways, I've sold this brand of robes before. There is like a little ink stain there. I'm still gonna sell it. It, I think I made like $30 in the past on their robes off the top of my head. So we will definitely sell that here. And I don't know what pile to put this in. I'm gonna set it over here. I do have the tie for it. I don't always have the tie, but that's not a deal breaker. I will still sell a Barefoot Dreams robe or a nice robe without the tie because sometimes people just don't care whether or not they have the tie. All right, next is, I think this is Lululemon. It's a jacket. Yeah, it's Lululemon. I never know the style. If you know the style and want to let me know, that's cool. Otherwise, uh, my virtual assistant, she's really great at researching items. And so she will do the grunt work and find out what this is. Does have a tag in here. Some of the tag got cut off. It is a size eight. So we know that. And I don't know that we know anything else. Oh, here we go. So if you look in the pockets, it will have a size dot there. And it's really hard to see, but there are some numbers around like in a circular fashion. And I believe that correlates with the style number. So you can look that up also if you are unsure. This we will sell here in-house. Lululemon tends to sell so quickly. It just doesn't make sense for me to do anything with it other than sell it myself. Okay, I think I'm not even gonna unwrap. Well, maybe I will. This is just a Lululemon dress. I grabbed it because it was just excuse me, Lula Row dress. I grabbed it because it was in really nice condition and it was a 2XL. I've mentioned in my previous videos that I like grabbing plus size pieces that are in good condition to resell just so that we can provide garments um, to people who maybe can't always find great deals on plus size clothing. I wear plus size, so I'm, <laughs> I'm speaking for that customer base in my head. Okay, next item I have is an Adidas jacket. I don't know if this is a men's or women's. It says climb a warm on it. It does have a hood. It was in really nice condition, so I just had to grab it, you guys. It says extra large. Yeah, this could be a women's extra large because it, it, it just has like a fitted look here on the side, so I'm thinking it's a women's. I'm going to sell that here. Yeah, again, the active wear, I'm just feeling like I wanna, I wanna do it here in-house. All right, my last couple of videos, I mentioned that I've been casually picking up Aber Abercrombie & Fitch. This is a size large and it's a cropped floral top with this like kind of almost like a ribbon around the neckline. Um, I'm just testing the waters with it, guys. I'm just testing the waters. I saw on TikTok, maybe people are talking about Abercrombie having a moment. You know, I don't think the most highly of that company, but... <laughs> I do think highly of taking items uh, out of potentially being sent to the landfill. So I'm gonna try and sell it. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of money for that piece at best, 15 to 20, maybe 10 to 20. I'm not sure. I don't even know if it would be a good idea to take it to Play-Doh's closet. Perhaps that would be something that does well there. At Play-Doh's, at my Play-Doh's, they, their rule of thumb is they want items that are sold in the mall. So Abercrombie would definitely be something of that nature. All right, next is a mountain hardware jacket. I'm so lucky living in the Pacific Northwest to have access to great brands, outdoor brands like this. This is a puffer jacket and it's a size women's large. 
if it was an XL, I would have tried that on and maybe kept it. Okay, next is a pair of Uniqlo jeans. They still have the Kidwell tag on it. I'm gonna rip that off. These are a size, I don't know. They say slim, straight, low. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, their size, not my waist. That's what they are, but they're in really good condition. So that is why I picked them up. I think we're gonna just sell them here. Again, I, I would be a little bit curious if my Play-Doh's closet did take those. I don't know if they take Uniqlo though. Someday I should find out. All right, the next item. This I actually, I just thought this was cute. Maybe this would be a good item for thread up, <laughs> but it's an Ann Taylor sweater combo <laughs> type shirt. Uh, it's a size medium. It's actually Ann Taylor outlet. And you can tell because it has the two little dots underneath the tag. It sounds like there's somebody on my roof. Anyways. Yeah, we'll sell that here. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I want to send that to thread up just because I don't have a lot of labels. Okay. Next is an anthro brand. This is Saturday, Sunday. You can see the tag there. This is a size small. It is a like open front waterfally sweater. I'm guessing this has got to be wool or cashmere or some sort of thing like that. Oh, okay. Nylon, acrylic, angora, which is, I believe, rabbit. <laughs> yeah, so that's the mix of everything, I believe. It's really soft. Um, yeah, we'll sell it here. Does Saturday, Sunday still sell well for you? Again, it's one of those anthro brands that it's like a few years ago, probably would have been a little bit more excited than I am now, but still happy to have it. Okay, this pile <laughs> needs to be pushed down. I can't stack stuff on there anymore. <laughs> okay, the next item is the City Chic dress. City Chic, to my knowledge, makes plus size items. Maybe they don't also do plus size. I'm only familiar with their plus size pieces. They do a mix of traditional and vanity sizing. So you'll see on the tag here, it says size small slash 16. So City Chic calls this their size small. Traditionally, we would know that as a 16. So just in case you see that and you're confused, it's a really cute dress. There is a belt for it, which I have. When I laundered it, obviously I took the belt off. So here's the belt, it will get photographed with that on. Okay, what else is in here? <laughs> okay, next is this DKNY top. It is a size L slash X. So like large, extra large, I'm guessing. And I'm not very familiar with my DKNY, so I don't know what is better DKNY and not as good DKNY, or if it's kind of all the same at this point. It's a satin shirt. It's real pretty mm, for myself. No, I would consider sending this to thread up. Oh, you know what though? There's a couple poles on here, which I didn't see before. So I don't even know if I'm going to sell this now because there's too many poles. It's a little hard for you guys to probably see because of the coloring of this. I'm going to have to set this to the side and look over it a little bit more closely. And sometimes this just happens when you shop at the Goodwill outlet, the lighting in there is pretty poor and so it's hard to see everything that you're grabbing. So anyways, just, uh, you know, you kind of have to go through things a couple of times to really weed out the bad buys. This I believe is J. Crew. I haven't looked at the tag yet, but it's just really pretty. Look at this up close. It's in really great condition. Yes, it's a J. Crew size two. It's not even that current of a piece. I think I looked at the tag and it said maybe 2016, but it's just such a cute little black dress. Emphasis on little because it's a size two, but okay what else is in here there's so many fun prints in here okay initially I was like is this Lily Pulitzer because of the print isn't this so cute but it's actually Talbot's yeah it's a Talbot size 10 how cute is this this would be so nice for spring Easter that sort of stuff I love this print this is definitely going to go in my store so we'll set that to the side Next up, I think this is Cache. Okay, so I used to pick up Cache a lot more than I do. I don't know that, excuse me, it's as good as it maybe used to be in the past five to 10 years. This is a pretty small piece. It's a size medium, but it just smells real cute. So I got it. And 
That would be something I actually would consider sending to thread up. I don't know. I'm just letting you know if I had like a plethora of labels, I would use it and send to them. If you're like, what the heck is she talking about with this whole label business? Cause maybe you've never sent to thread up. Uh, they just, a lot of people send stuff in. And so they limit the amount of labels that they will give to you for you to send your stuff in to consign with them, which kind of sucks. Cause there's a lot of stuff that I think people would love to send in, but you know, they only have so much manpower in their warehouses, so much, um, uh, probably room in their warehouses. So I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay. This is new with tags. So this is why I grabbed it. It's the brand Candies. Is it size extra large? And they're just shimmery, fancy lady pants. I just had to grab them. I'm not sure where Candies is sold. Now I am. It says Kohl's on here. So original price, $40. What I may do, similar with my Chico's lot, I like to lot up my new tag pieces and then sell those off as a larger lot. So we'll just start a new tag lot at some point. I will eventually, you know, put those up for sale. I usually put it up on my Instagram. So if you want to know about that, check out my Instagram. That's where you'll find out. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It was new with tags. I can't even tell what the tag says. I'm going to take off the Goodwill tag, which I'm nervous about. There we go. The brand is Natalie. I don't know what this is, guys. It's like a purple lacy bodysuit. Maybe this is like for gymnastics or something. Okay, we'll, we'll put that in the new tag pile. <laughs> uh, in case you hear any dogs making noises, that is next door to me, so... I apologize in advance. Okay, this is a Zara dress. This is so cute. So that's the tag there. This is a size small, but it's kind of hard for me to hold up because it's little. I don't know if this is linen, but it feels like linen. How fun is this dress? Definitely gonna put this in my store. I love this. What is your material? I don't wanna look. Those Zara tags are like 80 pages long. So I'm not gonna bother. And I'm gonna set you right over there. Okay, this is uh, I maybe shouldn't have grabbed this, but whatever. YOLO. It's the brand Tool. In the past, I used to think that this is an Anthro brand, but I don't think that that's always true. I don't think that this one was sold at Anthro. It's a size small, and it's got this, like, metallic sheen to it. Sorry, there's, like, some hairs on here. One way that we can rule out whether it was sold at Anthro or not is by looking at the inside care tag. And, yes. Oh, it's linen. Okay, that explains it. So the RN number here, if it was sold at Anthro, it would say 66170. I know that to be true about 95% of the time. I'm going to go ahead and say 99%. We'll leave 1% for error. Um, but if you feel differently, let me know in the comments. I'll probably just sell this one here. There's that. Next one is, oh, this is Cupcakes and Cashmere, which I do like selling this brand. It's inside out, and to be honest, I haven't turned it inside out since I purchased it at the bins. The reason why I went on the trust system is because it has tags. It's new with tags. So let's see what it looks like. It's a size medium sweater. Hopefully there's not like barf on the front. I think it looks, oh, 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 okay. No, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Where's the tag though? Hmm, okay. Okay, I don't know guys. Some items I will spot clean here at the warehouse with baby wipes. Baby wipes are really great for that. However, I don't know. I'll probably take this home and clean it or decide what I want to do with it. So that's gonna get sent to the, set to the side. <laughs> A good reason to always turn the garment inside out. <laughs> you never know what's gonna be on the inside. Okay, next is another new tag item. I had to grab this. It is just, it's from The Gap, but it's new tags. Originally $70, oh my gosh. Size 16, it is missing the belt, but you know, maybe somebody doesn't mind. We'll find out. Okay, next is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied. I'm like, am I gonna pronounce that correctly? These are the legging ankle. They're a size 28R, but they're just like this gray square print all over. We will sell these here. 
Okay, I did find a number of, I'll have to set these to the side, excuse me, Universal Thread, which is sold at Target, love this brand, tank tops. They're all, all size small, and there's a few of them, so I'll just set them to the side as we move along here. This is the brand Boohoo, and again, it was just new a tag, so I grabbed it. The tag is on the inside here. I'm gonna put that in my new tag pile. Where's the other Universal Thread ones? Oh, this one I'm gonna keep for myself. It's Universal Thread. It's a size extra, extra large, and it's a crew neck sweater. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. That's mine now. And same with this one. <laughs> I think this was in the same pile, so it must have been the same person's items. Extra, extra large, made well t-shirt. I feel so guilty keeping it for myself. It was only originally $19, but I still, I'm just like, Denali, it's for you to resell. It's not for you to keep, but I want to keep it. I like a nice white t-shirt. So check, check me out in future videos wearing that. Next item is just this Land's End. I think it's silk top. I just love the color. It's a size 12. I had to grab it. I did. I just had to grab it, guys. Sorry. Let me cut off this Goodwill tag. So sometimes Goodwill doesn't Oftentimes, they don't remove the tags once it goes to the outlet. Uh, so you just have to remove them yourself. This is another one. Here we go. I've never, I don't think I've ever thrifted this brand, but it does retail for a bit. It's called Long Tall Sally. Look how beautiful this dress is. I love it. And I believe it's called Long Tall Sally because it is for people with, who are, um, who are taller. <laughs> Maybe even people with longer torsos. I feel like that is maybe true as well because I feel like I've ended up on their website before because I, I have a longer torso. So we will sell this here at the warehouse. Yes, because I do think it's gonna resell for quite a bit. This, I don't know if this was a good buy or not, but I grabbed it, but I grabbed it. You know, when I only have an hour there to sort at the end, the sorting skills get weakened a little bit because usually they're, um, talking very loudly on the intercom, telling us that if we don't hurry up, they're going to close down the store and we have to throw our items back in, which I'm moving really quickly to sort my stuff. So this is, I think, Vintage. It's just a rash guard. It does have all the original tags on it. I don't know that it's anything special. They do call it dead stock, I believe, when it has the original tags on here. So I'll try and sell it. If it doesn't sell for a ton, you know, sometimes we make bad decisions. It happens. All right, next item is, I believe this is a men's Pendleton bla uh, blazer. Yeah. And you know, not all Pendleton is treated the same, but I thought this was a nice piece in good condition. So, you know, I did it guys. And we will sell that here. I've said in previous videos, not a huge fan of selling men's suiting pieces. It's just not my jam, but we'll give it a shot. I, I know that it's just very specific measurements that go into menswear pieces. And I just feel less confident about that, but that's a me problem. Um, this is not really vintage, but I grabbed it. I don't know. <laughs> Again, sorting skills week, but it's Rose Bowl 2010 football t-shirt. I don't know. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that. All right. New with tag piece. Another new with tag piece. This is just, oh, it's Zara. Dun, 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 dun. And it's a bodysuit. This actually probably would do well at Plato's Closet. I don't know if I made a Plato's pile here. It's buried if I did. I can't remember at this point, but I'd consider taking that there. Okay. Here's another one of the universal thread tanks. This one's an extra small. The other one was a small. I was thinking about lotting them up, but now I don't know. I guess somebody has to be small, extra small to be okay with it. Here's another one, another small. So I've got two smalls, one extra small. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Next item is this really pretty. I'm, I'm at a loss for words of what this would be called. Mm, a jacket of some sort really pretty. I am not sure if this would be Chinese or Japanese style or 
something else, please let me know if you know. Otherwise, we will put on our research caps and do some researching. Luckily, there's a tag. So I don't even know if this is any good. The brand says Rising Phoenix. Um, it says it's a size large, 100% silk, made in Hong Kong, which is China. Um, dry clean. That's all I got on it. I just thought it was really pretty. The color, I don't know if it's really picking up on there, but it's, it's just a beautiful piece. I had to grab it. And then last but not least, I don't know if this is vintage, but I was a Girl Scout and this just brought back memories. It kind of looks vintage. I, otherwise they need to update their hat styles because this is not very modern looking. This says Junior Girl Scouts and it's got some pins on here. The, pin, the pins are so cute. I only ever made it to brownies, so I was a brownie, so there you go. Just a little bit of <laughs> nostalgia there. But this is my haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was entertaining for you. Maybe you picked up a nugget or two or I just entertained you. Um, again, give me a thumbs up on your way out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!